Ready? Hey guys, I'm here today with my buddy Bruce and Jay for the time being. Hi. Behind the camera. And we are going to be serving up for you today Country Strong, battered and fried, white albacore with mayo, bearded lady realness. This is actually a look that I had posted on my Facebook a while ago, and a lot of you really liked it, so I thought I would share it with you. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. There's no garnishes for these. Please, more room for booze. I know, it's in a tube, and it says in a jar. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Okay, once the moisturizer's down, we're gonna go in and add a base on the eyes. I'm gonna be using Rich Purple Paint Stick by MAC. I'm just laying it down, just like this. Now, I'm gonna be using Grape Pigment by MAC. I'm placing this right over where I had the paint stick. And just press, don't sweep. Why? Don't make a mess. Next thing I'm going to do is add a highlight. And I'm just going to be using Max Full Coverage Foundation in white, which is a pro product, right under the brow bone. And this is going to be my base for the eyeshadow that I put down. Now over the top of that with Shroom by MAC. Okay, now from here, start building a gradient. So I'm gonna be using Purple Passion by Estee Lauder. Any range of purples that you wanna use is fine. Start going in between the highlight and the lid color that's there. Now I'm gonna start playing around with some pinks. This is Full Fuchsia Blush. This is gonna go up in this corner right here. Now some pink pearl pigment. Kind of bringing this all together. Pink Pearl is a lot like um, Stars and Rockets. What did I say? Stars and Rockets on Red Bull. It's a really cool, cool uh, pink sort of lavender dual chrome. There's Jay. Hi, Jay. Hey. What are you doing? I gotta go. Oh. You gotta go? You're supposed to be bantering. Well, I have You can kind of see we're building that's what we've got I'm gonna go in and start with the bottom lid and then add some depth around the edges out here and on the outside with a darker shadow but starting with the bottom lid again using that rich purple paint stick go ahead and look up I'm gonna sort of buff that in with um, stars and rockets by Mac which is a little more blue than pink pearl and because it's not a pigment, I'm going to have a little more control over where it goes. And then I'm going to go in using Newport Blue by Estee Lauder, which is a really dark matte navy. And just sort of on the outer edges, right up against the lash line, come close, right up in here, maybe blowing it out just a little bit, just to add some darkness to that outer part of the eyes. Okay, now, once all that is down and blended in, I'm going to take... Max Platinum Pigment, and with metal texture pigments, because they are so messy, sometimes the best way to work with them is to place that, and then I'll actually take my finger and press it into the skin. It just kind of makes sure that it sticks, because these things will fly everywhere and make a huge mess. Just like that, and then we'll do the other eye. All right, now that we've got the basic eye shape down, there's still some more stuff to do. But I'm gonna go in and do the brows. I'm using Deep Brown Max Skin Corrector. This is a pro product. Any way you do your eyebrows, just do your eyebrows. I'm gonna use this and then set it with a powder and run a brush, a brow set through it. All right, now, last two steps. I'm gonna be adding a black liner along the waterline here, and then Max Reflex Transparent Teal Glitter. I'm gonna press, close, 
right over that silver. In fact, I'll do that now so you can see what that looks like. Just right into that. Just like that. Moving on, the rest of the face is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to start with a primer. This is Glam Core's primer. I'm just going to smooth this into the skin using my own filthy hands. Next thing we're going to do is the foundation. And I'm going to be using Estee Lauder's Resilience Lift Extreme. I'm using a combination of nude and linen. They're very close to each other, but it's just a little bit in between the two shades. I try to be difficult. Now for a powder, I'm going to be using Max Blot Powder Pressed on a puff. And just press and roll into the skin like this. And then just dust off the excess. As much as I'm trying to use permanent products, I am going to be using one limited edition one. This is Fearless by Estee Lauder. This is one of their new blushes. They're still out now, but they're all limited edition. There's three really vibrant, pretty shades. Okay, now for the lips, I'm actually going to be using a color from MAC's um, Fall Trend Lip Palette. I'm going to use French Nougat, which is this one right here. It's kind of a... I'd say it's like a cool-toned peachy nude. look up. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Country Strong Battered and Fried White Albacore with Mayo Bearded Lady Realness. You can use any color to do this. I really just followed the shape of the eye when I just kind of created something. I don't know. Cool. I think his eyes look like, um, what's her name, Lorena from True Blood? Or, oh, that bitch? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's no. pretty. She, she might be pretty, but she's a whole lot. <laughs> anyway, um, what do we do? So yeah, so that's it. So, as always, if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, please leave them in the comment section. I will do my best to get back to you. Until I see you next time, which will be very soon, take care and drive safe.